Well, top in today's health cast, a new government-funded study finds rates of cancer diagnosis are rising among young American women. Researchers looked at more than 500,000 different cases of early onset cancer between 2010 and 2019. And what they found, overall, early onset cancers went up over that decade by an average of 0.28% each year. Young women in their 30s saw the biggest increase in diagnosis. Cases among men in the same age group actually declined. More sensitive screening tests are cited as one reason for the increased rates among women. And the health risks of long-term e-cigarette use are still being studied, but new research is shining a light on the impact on the respiratory health of young people. In this study, we found that past 30-day e-cigarette use was associated with symptoms of shortness of breath, and, and symptoms of bronchitis. Those symptoms were reported after e-cigarette use regardless of the use of cannabis, traditional cigarettes, or secondhand smoke exposure, which researchers say signals that vaping is harmful all by itself. The researchers are now uh, going beyond getting information from surveys and studying biomarkers from young participants to look at daily e-cigarette use and how it does affect their lung function. And three people have died in Connecticut and New York from a rare flesh-eating bacteria. The bacteria lives in warm, salty, or brackish water. And people with an open wound, such as a cut or a scrape, or, more, or maybe a recent piercing or a new tattoo, they're more likely to contract that bacteria. Doctors say it's important to get treatment right away if you develop a skin infection after possible exposure. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, this Vibrio vulnicus bacteria causes an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the country every year.